Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off of Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. T plus 40 seconds and Falcon 9 is on its way with a countdown of the last 10 seconds Power by Iridium, Iridium CEO Matt Desch. We're throttling down now in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle supersonic. RC on countdown one, first motion time 15 colon 31 colon 33 decimal 492 UTC. Calling out the time there of liftoff over the net. Position of signal. Hold We're on. through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. Merlin engines continuing to perform at 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Falcon 9 heading out into the upper atmosphere. Nice view from the first stage camera looking aft. We're headed south from Vandenberg Air Force Base, Space Launch Complex, Far East. MVAC engine chill. The MVAC engine cheer call out indicates that we have now opened up the oxygen that goes to the pump on the second stage engine, chilling it down for ignition coming up about a minute from now. We're hearing good call outs. Propulsion looks nominal, the trajectory looks good. Now, coming up will be rapid fire events. Main engine cut off, we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines. At two and a half minutes, we will separate the stages. We'll light the second stage engine. And at just a little bit after that, we'll relight three engines on the first stage to begin slowing it down for landing in the Pacific Ocean on our drone ship. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one is entered its foot. So we've had successful shutdown of the first stage. It's separated. It's doing the flip to reorient and it's lit its three engines to begin slowing it down to come to the drone ship. Meanwhile, on the right hand side of the display, second stage engine has ignited, begin propelling the Iridium satellites. You can see them there as we get ready for fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Stage one, who's back shut down. A lot of events happening. You saw the fairing separate, and you can see one half of the fairing drifting away behind the second stage on the right-hand side of the display. On the left side, we've had shutdown from the boost back burn, two, and you can see the titanium here. grid fins slowly extending. That's nominal for those grid fins. The white flashing you see, that is attitude control gas, nitrogen that's used to orient the first stage. We're coming up four minutes into flight. In about a minute and a half, the first stage will initiate a quick re-entry burn to again slow the rocket down as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. A minute later, we'll perform the final burn, the landing burn, which will decelerate the vehicle to a gentle landing atop our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Now as a reminder, recovery is always a secondary objective to our primary goal of delivering our customers satellites to orbit. Views you have right now, the camera on the left is looking up the inner stage where there used to be a second stage. Now we're looking at the grid fins with the Pacific Ocean in the background. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, the MVAC-D second stage engine 
running about 200,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. You can see the nozzle glowing red hot. That's nominal for that nozzle. We're about half a minute away from the entry burn. This one will also be a three engine burn. That will slow the vehicle down as we go to subsonic speeds and then eventually a final burn a little bit after that to land on the drone ship. Getting excellent views as the sun has risen recently over the west coast here in the United States. Stage one entry burn has started. Call out the entry burn on stage one has started. Three engines up and running. Stage one entry burn shut down. And the entry burn shut down called out over the countdown net as you heard. Stage one FTS is safe. Everything continuing to look good. First stage entry burn has ended. We're less than a minute until the third and final landing burn, followed by touchdown on the drone ship. And you can see the first stage descending back down through the atmosphere as it's coming up on the cloud deck. Now, as a reminder, we may lose live video stage coverage on the drone ship as the engine exhaust degrades the radio frequency signal. Now, if that happens, we'll share status updates on the first stage as they become available. Drone ship AOS. Drone ship AOS means the drone ship has acquired Stage the signal. Burn has started. Center engine has lit. We're slowing ourselves down, preparing to find the drone ship right underneath us. You've got the camera view from the drone ship now. Waiting to see the first stage come into view. And we're getting the signal drop out, which is not unusual. We're going to keep pressing on. We have not heard confirmation. Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to 11.1. There you go. We heard the call out from recovery. Falcon 9 has landed. We hope to get a shot of it on the deck of the drone ship a little bit later. But we can confirm we're down with the first stage. We're pressing on on the second stage mission. Currently, trajectory looks good. We've begun throttling down the Merlin vacuum engine, maintaining the G-load on the Iridium Next satellites. And we've got the view back from this drone ship. There it is, right in the middle of the bullseye. The first stage is back again down on Earth. Meanwhile, second stage is getting ready in less than 20 seconds for shutdown and entry into the parking 